Hey, this is Dave from Unipro. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can spy on your competition. This is a really helpful trick if you wanna see how your competitors are getting all their new customers, if you wanna see what sort of offers and what sort of pricing your competitors are using, and if you wanna see what type of content is working best for your competition. If you're using Facebook to grow your own business, this is a trick that you need to have. So let's dive in. So you're trying to grow your business on Facebook, you're trying to get new customers and new clients, but it's just not going as quickly as you'd like. At the same time, you see some competitors in your industry and it looks like they're crushing it. Their business is growing and growing and growing. And it makes you wonder, well, what are they doing that I'm not doing? Now, some people will tell you, you just need to go and spend a fortune on paid advertising, or maybe you need to hire a sales team or hire a marketing director. And I'm gonna tell you, no, you don't need to do any of that. All you need to do is take a look at what your competitors are doing and then follow the game plan that they've already proven works. Let me show you two ways to do this. First way is to go over to Facebook's ad library, and I'll show you where you can do this. You can use this URL right here to get over to Facebook's ad library, and this is where Facebook reveals all of the advertisements that everyone on Facebook is using. It's amazing. <laughs> That's amazing. Let me show you an example. Imagine that you're a weight loss coach. And so we can go down here and we're gonna start searching through the ads to see what's working for your competition. Here's how I like to do it. I like to set this up with all countries and I click on ad category and I like to include all ads. Now in this example, because we're pretending to be a weight loss coach, I might type a term like weight loss. So in this case, I'm searching all Facebook ads by topic. And check out the results, this is super powerful. You can find all kinds of competitors, some who you may be familiar with, others who may be brand new to you. You can check out what ads they're running, what their copy is, so what they're writing. You can check out what images or videos they're using, and you can see where they're sending people who click on their ads. And so again, this is by topic. You're searching by topic, you can go through and get a ton of information here. But let me show you another way, and this is one of the ways that I actually like to use the Facebook ad library is instead of searching by topic, I'm gonna to search by a specific competitor who I'm already familiar with. So in this case, again, if I'm a weight loss coach, I might search WW, which is Weight Watchers. And lo and behold, what comes up? All of Weight Watchers ads. And so again, I can take a look at everything about these posts, what they're writing, what type of graphics they're using, what their headlines are, what their call to actions are, and where they're sending traffic when people click on these ads. And from here, let me show you two really neat tricks. So I'm just gonna scroll down a little bit, and here's an example. So this is Weight Watchers in the UK. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on See Ad Details, and it's gonna take me over to a page that looks like this. And now here are the two tricks. And the first trick is this. If you'd like to see all of the new content that's coming out from this particular competitor, here's what you can do. I'm gonna go down to the actual link on this ad and I'm gonna click it. Well, why did I do that? I did it because Facebook just pixeled me. Facebook added a pixel in my browser that says I'm interested in this particular ad from this particular competitor of mine. And what's this mean? Well, it means that from now on, Weight Watchers is likely to serve me up with more ads because I already showed interest in this first ad. So now every time Weight Watchers comes out with a new idea for an ad or a new piece of content that's working really well, or maybe a new offer, guess who's gonna see it? It's gonna be served right up to me inside my Facebook feed. And you can do the exact same thing. Go and get pixels by your competitors so you can automatically spy on them. Facebook does the work for you. That's the first trick, getting pixeled. The second trick is actually when you click on that link inside of that ad, it's gonna take you over here to a landing page. And why is this important? Well, two reasons. Number one, you can see in this case what Weight Watchers is actually selling. You can see what their offer is. What's their program? What's their product? Maybe they came up with something really new that's gonna inspire you. So I can see exactly what they're offering. Also, I can see their pricing. And this is really neat because maybe your competitors are coming out with different pricing at different times of the year. Maybe they have seasonal prices. Maybe they have special promotions. Maybe they are giving away special bonuses and you can see it all by going over to their landing pages. Hopefully you're seeing the power of this. So this is the first way that you can spy on your competitors. Let's go take a look at a second way you can do it. I'm gonna go over to Facebook here and I'm gonna go to the top left-hand corner and I'm gonna use the search feature. Now, in this example, let's forget about being a weight loss coach. Let's imagine that you offer a software to business owners. So I might go in here and I might type in software and then I'm gonna run the search. And then what I wanna do is go down here and you're gonna filter by pages. Click on pages. And then you're gonna see a bunch of examples of pages from software companies. And you can scroll through here and see which ones are related to you, which ones are in competition with your software. So let me use this one as an example, Pipeline Pro. And just imagine you click on that, you read a little bit about Pipeline Pro and you realize, yeah, this is a competitor of mine. They're targeting a very similar audience to the audience that you target. 
Well, what can you do from here? Let me show you. I'm going to scroll down and in this left hand column, this is what you want to look for. Is you want to look for page transparency and then you're going to click on this. And what this does, is it tells you everything about what Pipeline Pro is doing from an advertising standpoint. So if I scroll down, you can see that it says right here, this page is currently running ads. Pretty awesome, right? Well, wouldn't it be nice to see these ads? Of course you can do that. I'm going to click on go to ad library and now I'm going to be back over in the ad library only for ads from Pipeline Pro. And now I've got all this information at my fingertips. Again, I can see what images they're using. I can check out their offers. I can check out their copy. I can check out their headlines. Everything is here. And of course you can follow the exact same two tips that I gave you previously. So I'm over here taking a look at the details for this particular ad. And now I can go and click on this. Now I'm pixeled. I'm likely to start seeing ads from this company again in my Facebook feed. And I can go take a look at their landing page and find out all the details about what they're selling. From here, I'm gonna show you one more tip because you might do this. You might go and do some searches and find some pages that are running some ads. And when you come over to their page and you scroll down over in the left-hand column here, you'll notice in this case, I can't scroll any further. There isn't that page transparency section that I showed you just a minute ago. So what do you do? Does it mean that you can't use this business to spy on? No, absolutely not. It's just hidden. Let me show you. I'm gonna click on the about section for this business page and check it out. Here's where page transparency is hiding for this particular business. Now I'm gonna click on page transparency. I'm gonna click on see all and check it out. Now I'm back down here and it says this page currently it's running ads and I can go back to their ad library. And now I have all the information about all the ads they're running. Now, full transparency for me, I don't run any Facebook ads for my business, but how I do use these tricks is I look at the content from the Facebook ads library, and that gives me content ideas that I can create on my personal profile. Then I use a tool, it's called Unipro. And if you've never checked out Unipro, definitely go check it out. Go over to unipro.com. What Unipro does is it brings in the exact targeted leads that I'm looking for. It gets them over to my personal profile. It shows them all my content, gets tons of engagement, and it works those leads, nurturing them until they become a paying customer or client. This has been a game changer for my business and I know it will be for you as well. So go over to unipro.com. That's what I've got for you in this video. If this was helpful, if any of these tips were helpful, give this video a like. And if you have any questions about spying on your competition, using the Facebook ads library, finding pages through the Facebook search, go ahead and leave those in the comment section. I'm happy to help out. And again, if you haven't checked out Unipro, you gotta go check it out. Go over to unipro.com. I know it's gonna be a game changer for your business. So thanks for checking out this video. Can't wait to see you in the next video.